Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. If you want more good news on the Second Amendment, you're going to want to watch this video because constitutional carry is back on the menu. Three states are taking action. And if you think that a constitutional carry should be a thing nationally, then subscribe to this channel down below because Guns and Gadgets is where you're going to get that news. And when the bill drops federally, I will let you know. All right. So let's talk about three states that constitutional carry is back on the menu. Uh, technically, this country has 25 states. Half of the country is constitutional carry, although Alabama's doesn't start until January 1st of 2023. I still put them in that group because they're closer than any other of the 25 states that don't have it. Maybe not for long. So I'm going to tell you about the three states. One of them includes a governor who has received an immense amount of heat lately about his flip-floppiness on constitutional carry. And you all put heat on him. And when I feel the heat, I see the light is so true in politics. It's worked again. The first state I want to tell you about is Virginia. Virginia's state delegate Marie Marsh has already pre-filed uh, House Bill 1393. Pre-filing is what happens before legislatures actually convene officially, and Virginia's actually convenes January 11th. So that's when it will become officially introduced. That is Virginia. And that one actually has a chance if people get motivated and get it done and put pressure on their officials, but we'll talk more about that when the bill drops. Number two is a, is a place that you've heard because I've been talking about this one during last year's fight for constitutional carry, and that's Nebraska. Nebraska's constitutional carry fell short of two votes, two votes to break the state filibuster, and this bill, uh, State Senator Tom Brewer said it will be the very first bill that he introduces in this new coming session, and the belief is that the November elections have changed the makeup of the state legislature enough to get constitutional carry across the goal line. So Tom Brewer will be submitting that as soon as he can once the, legisl once the legislature convenes in Nebraska. And everybody who uh, was busy on that one, contacting representatives and stuff, need to do it again. Because Nebraska's legislation is tricky, the way it works, and put pressure on them. The last one comes with a smile because this governor has been wishy-washy on constitutional carry. And I'm talking about Florida and Governor Ron DeSantis. I've chronicled Florida a lot here on this channel. And there were times where DeSantis has said, if it gets to my desk, I'll sign it. But there were whispers in the state legislature and in the state uh, people who are in the know that said maybe he just really didn't want it to get to his desk. And that was kind of why the rhinos in Florida who pass gun control, Republicans, pass gun control, super majority, and they don't push pro-gun stuff. However, with aspirations of a potentially larger office at the forefront of DeSantis's mind, he said this, and I'm going to preface it, the audio is kind of, kind of crappy, but uh, you, you get the point. In case the people in this room didn't see your guys' press conference yesterday, I think they all want to hear your guys' thoughts, Speaker Renner, about uh, constitutional carry and the future of that, that potential law. So, I've never been asked that before. On a, <laughs> so basically, um, you know, this was something that I've always supported. Um, you know, the last two years, it was not necessarily a priority for, for the legislative leadership. Um, but, you know, we've been talking about it, and he's, he's pledged publicly that's moving forward. And uh, it'll be something that will be done in, in the regular session. And uh, that puts us in line now with the majority of states uh, who have done that. And, um, you know, even states like Vermont and New Hampshire um, ha have been able to do that. So, uh, so we'll, we'll get that done. Now, they've already been asked a couple times about this, and House Speaker Renner in Florida has already been asked by the governor on camera, uh, will you be getting that to him? And he said yes. So, guys and gals in Florida, you got to do what you got to do because politicians are snakes, even Republicans, because it's a two-sided coin. Uh, but these three states have already indicated that constitutional carry is at the forefront, and it would seem to me pretty easy for these three states to bring that total to 28 states constitutional carry, officially go over the 50% mark, and that will only 
only lead to good pressure on the states that do not have it, as long as they're not like states like New York, California, Massachusetts, blah, blah, blah. But good news leading into the new legislative sessions. And uh, I figured I'd do it. Only good news today. So the first video was great news. Watch that if you haven't, because Judge Benitez is laying heat. And uh, constitutional carry back on the menu in these three states will probably pass it. And uh, that's good news. Guys and gals, please support this channel by subscribing down below. I would love to hit 600,000 by the end of the year. It'd be my Christmas gift. I celebrate Christmas. And we're close, but we're going to need to help getting over that finish line. So if you want to see this channel succeed with that number to push that little envelope for YouTube, subscribe down below because there's like 47% of the viewers who don't subscribe. So come on and join us. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe constitutional carry style. Take care, y'all.